this is the most game-changing feature to be added to WordPress in a very long time. I don't think they've released anything bigger than this. And that's because it's going to make websites faster and easier to build, manage, and maintain. And most likely, the page builder that you're using now or that you used to build your website does not offer this. And it's just insane to think that all WordPress users are going to get this in just two short months with the next version of WordPress that's coming out very soon. Now, I'll be fully covering this in depth here on the channel, so make sure that you're subscribed to get access to these in-depth tutorials. Now, this feature has a bad name. I actually don't like the name. It's currently called Partially Synced Patterns, and I'm sure that name may change in the future. And I even reached out to WordPress's biggest advocate for building maintainable websites, Kevin Geary, to get his take on partially synced patterns, and I'll share his take in a moment. Now, the feature is easy to understand if you've built websites before, but it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm gonna do my best. Most page builders allow you to save a section in your design that you can use somewhere else on your website individually, and this can be a time saver. So in Elementor, it's actually very easy. You can scroll down to a section, you can right click, and then choose this option here that says save as a template, and then enter a name. Then you can click on save, and you've just saved a template that you can use anywhere on your website individually. The way you do that is, we'll get out of this, scroll to the very bottom, we'll choose the envelope right here, and it's showing me a list of my templates, and I can click on it, and here it is, the insert option, and I'll click on apply, and that section just got inserted into the layout right here at the very bottom. There it is. Now, if I use this somewhere else on my website, the two are not linked, meaning if at a later point I wanted to maybe change the spacing or change the color or change the layout in some way, I'm simply not able to do that. I have to do that each and every place that I've used this template. This is a capability that most page builders currently offer. Now, the next thing is taking a section and making it what's called a global section. And that means everywhere you use it on your website, it's all linked. And if you wanna change something, it changes everywhere. But the negative with that is you cannot change the actual content inside of it if you want it to be unique for the page that you're on, but still keep these styles in sync. In with Elementor, what you do is you go here, you add a container, and then you add the template module. Here it is, you drag and drop it, and then you choose that template that was just saved, like this. And now, everywhere I do what I just did, it will stay linked. If I change it once, it changes everywhere. But it's everything. I can't have individualized content. And that is the feature that's unlocked with partially synced patterns. So if you want to keep the style and the structure in sync, but have the content be individualized based on where you place this, using your page builder, you're just SOL. There's nothing you could do. There's only like two or three page builders on the market that offer this kind of capability. And that does not include the most popular and most widely used page building tools on the market today. Now, let me show you a basic example of how this new feature works that is coming to your WordPress website. Step one is to open a new tab in your web browser and visit the URL try.new. If you want to try something new, you got to visit try.new. You enter that into your website address bar, click on enter, and what ends up happening is you have a brand new WordPress site in just a few seconds, and you didn't have to register. It's great for trying anything new. So if you ever want to try something new on WordPress and you don't want to do it on your site, you want to try a new theme or a new plugin or anything new, just visit try.new. It's going to spin up a brand new WordPress site that self-destructs automatically. You don't even have to worry about it or register. So step one is to visit try.new. Step two is going to be to install the Gutenberg plugin. So I'm going to go to add new and I'll enter it right here and I'll click on install. 
and then I'll go ahead and click on activate. Now this is an experimental plugin. You shouldn't really install it on your site. It's for testing something new. And once it's activated, if uh, I've got this new menu item and when I hover over it, there's an option here that says experiments. And that's what we want to click on in order to enable this partially synced pattern feature. Now right here, it's listed as pattern overrides. As you see, simply click on this checkbox and then click on save changes to enable the feature. Next, we'll create a brand new page. I'll click on all pages add new page and let's give this a name and then we're going to want to put a pattern into the layout and the way you do this is simple you click on the plus here click on patterns and there's going to be a list of patterns that comes with the theme that is installed by default here so let's just go ahead and find a pattern that we want to turn into a partially synced pattern so let's go ahead and choose this one right here Perfect. So now that we have a design added to our layout, say I wanted to convert this into one of those partially synced patterns. Well, here's how you do it. You click on the, it's actually best to just click on the list view and then click right here where it says group. And we can click the three dots right here and it says create pattern. I believe we also get the three dots right here. Yes, we do. We'll click on create pattern and this is where we're gonna give this a name and then we can create a brand new category for this as well. Great, I've entered that in. We want this toggle to, to be on and have it say synced. We'll click on create and it's going to create that pattern. Step. The next step is to go and click right here where it says edit original. And you saw this quick little flash and this took me into a different user interface actually for managing these patterns. And I'm going to click right here in the paragraph block. And then over here, I'm going to expand where it says advanced. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get out of the way. And then here at the very bottom, you can see it says allow instance overrides. So I'm going to check this box. And what that means is everything in this pattern is going to stay in sync wherever I use it. And I'm able to change what is in here, the text that's it's in here. I'm going to be able to override this. So let's go ahead and click on update, save and all that. And then I'm going to click right here where it says back. And now I'm back to my layout. And so here is my pattern and it is, I can click right here and I can change this and it won't change everywhere. It could be individualized just where I place it. So let's just say this is where I ask you to subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish and I've published this page. So now I'm going to create an entirely different page just to demonstrate how this works. And I'll give this a title and then I'm going to add that partially synced pattern. So I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to click on patterns. Now I created a category and it's been added to the bottom here named WP Crafter. And then here is that pattern and I'm going to insert it into my layout. And let's go ahead and collapse that. And I'm going to put in different text right here. So I've entered in different text and let's go ahead and publish this. So now I am left with two pages. Let's click on view for both of these, page one and page two. And we have this partially synced pattern, but say I've used this in two different places and you know what? I don't like that color in the background. I want to change that everywhere that I've used this. Now with partially synced patterns, it's very easy to do. All I have to do is let's go back here. I'm going to go into, uh, I believe I could do that edit original if I wanted to. Let's see, I'll go in here and I'll click on edit original. Yep, I'm back into this interface. I'm gonna click on the background. Over here, I'll click on style and let's just do something a little different. Um, let's see, maybe I'm gonna lighten it up. There we go, lighten it up just like that. Now I'm gonna click on update. Watch what happens. Now, when I go here and I refresh the page, the, the style is kept in sync. And when I go here and I refresh the page, this was the other one, 
I click on refresh and you can see the style is perfectly kept in sync. Now when this releases, it's gonna be up to your block builder of choice to implement it within that block package. For example, when the last version of WordPress released, it came with a really nice feature where you can open up the list view and you can rename blocks as well as it'll show a text preview. And shortly after, Spectra, one of the, the block builder package that I like to use, added those features. So here's a Spectra build page. I can click on it and let me expand the container like this. And you can see right here that it's showing a text preview. And then if I want to rename the container, I can click on the three dots and there's this option right here to rename and I can enter in a new name for the container, then click on save. And now when I'm looking in the list view, it's been renamed. Now I did reach out earlier today to a friend of mine named Kevin Geary to get his take on all this. If you're not familiar with Kevin, he's the biggest advocate for WordPress on making maintainable and sustainable websites. He makes a product to help with this called Automatic CSS that professional web builders use. The reason I asked him about partially synced patterns because I was trying to find out if he felt like it felt fell short in any areas, if it fell short in any areas at all. Shortly after my message to him, he published this blog post, but he gave me his take and I'll read it. He says, partially synced patterns is one of the most exciting and powerful Powerful updates to WordPress in some time. Since the block editor doesn't have a class-based workflow, partially sync patterns are the only native pathway to building easily maintainable sites with the block editor. I've avoided the block editor up to this point because of a lack of features like this. That's about to change. When partially synced patterns arrive, assuming they work as advertised, the block editor will be a much more interesting place to play. And he also uh, posted this uh, blog post and there's some interesting uh, things that he writes in here as well. He describes it this way, and I really liked it. Where CSS classes give you a single source of truth for blocks styling, PSPs, that's the acronym for partially synced patterns, give you a single source of truth for the styling as well as some of the HTML, PHP, and JS associated with the block. If you're interested in reading more of Kevin's take on partially synced patterns, you can visit his website and I'll link to this in the video description. I hope in this video I did it some justice. Like I said, it's easy to understand, but it's very hard to explain. I did my very best, but at this point, I'm just curious what you think about partially synced patterns, which is coming in two short months to every single WordPress website. And how do you plan on using partially synced patterns in your workflow. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. I hope to see you around in a future video and I hope to hear from you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to try something new. Visit try.new. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.